Hi, I'm Aubrey from Aubrey Originals. I'm going to show you how to make this very simple but very cute fall sign from a Dollar Tree pizza pan. If you enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. For this sign, you will need a pizza pan from Dollar Tree, spray paint, I used this Rust-Oleum spray paint in dark brown, two large flowers as a focal point. I pulled a couple chrysanthemum blooms off this bush from Hobby Lobby, I believe. You could also use sunflowers or daisies. Then you'll need a couple small filler flowers. I also grabbed those off that bush. And then some greenery. I found this green wreath in the dollar spot at Target and pulled a few pieces off of there. You also need wired ribbon and half a Chanel stem to make a bow, rope from Dollar Tree, about 18 inches, a vinyl hello, I cut a piece of permanent vinyl with my Cricut, but you could also use a stencil or hand paint a phrase, whatever works for you. Power tack or E6000 glue, and then hot glue, and I also recommend using hot glue finger protectors. You can find those at Dollar Tree as well. First, spray paint your pan. I didn't video that part, but do several light coats until it's covered. You can prop the pan up on something smaller than it, so you can spray the sides but there's no need to paint the underside, so don't worry about that. Next, glue your rope to the back for a door hanger using your strong glue and let it dry overnight. If you want to, I actually put a layer of parchment paper over the rope and then put a five pound weight on each side so that it wouldn't pop off while it dried. I think that's called exercising, right? While that's drying, you can cut your vinyl saying if you're using vinyl. I went with a simple cursive hello. Here I am cutting and weeding that and you can also assemble your bow. For the bow, grab your wired ribbon and make a small loop, pinching the end at the back. This will be the middle of your bow. Make another loop to the side and pinch it together. You can see I'm holding it at the back with that first middle loop. Make a loop on the opposite side that's the same size and pinch it. Make another loop that's just a little bigger than your first. Pinch it together and make your final loop on the other side. Now we're going to make tails, so make a large loop, and I had just enough ribbon, so that was perfect. Loop this back up to where you're holding everything else and pinch all those pieces together. Grab your Chanel stem and thread it through the center loop and all the way around everything. Twist a few times to secure it. Cut the tail pieces in half to make two tails. And dovetail them. Trim the Chanel stem short and push them to the sides. Don't worry, these won't be seen. Now grab your flowers and arrange everything on the pan. Hot glue the bow to the center. I glued it just below the lip of the pan. Glue the greenery down by the stems and then glue a couple of the leaves down to secure everything really well. This is where those finger protectors come in handy. Then you can glue a big flower on. This one was on a previous project that didn't work out, so that's why you see hot glue residue on it, if you were wondering. Glue the greenery and flower on the opposite side and then add in those little filler flowers. Finish securing any really loose pieces if needed. Now you can apply transfer tape to your vinyl phrase. 
I cut my transfer tape close to the vinyl because I was worried that the transfer tape would mess up the spray paint finish on my sign, but it didn't, so that part's probably not necessary. Center the vinyl on the pan and burnish it down, being careful not to scrape the pan. See, it probably would have been better if I'd left the transfer tape bigger to have a layer of protection in between while burnishing, oh well. Remove the transfer tape and you're done. Such an easy and cute fall sign and no one would ever know it's a pizza pan. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.